Hi guys, I'm Adnan and I'm Win. What today, are we going to talk about today, Win? Today we're going to talk about pentatonics. Pentatonics what? Pentatonic minor. <laughs> pentatonic scales. Yeah. So, uh it's a go-to kind of scales that everybody knows. I think most the, of one them. of the most basic. Yep. What is the most basic scale, right? Most basic scale that everybody should try. And yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh well, you saw us jamming just now some some progressions mm -hmm. using the pentatonic scale. So we want to talk about pentatonic scales. All right, so pentatonic scales. Penta means five. Okay, five tonic Greek. scale. <laughs> five in Greek. Yeah, yeah. In Greek. Five, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so and the then pentagon. Right? Pentagon. Oh, that's why. Okay, so penta means five, and then we have five uh, notes that we're gonna play in pentatonics, which is the root, the flat third, fourth, fifth, and the flat seven. Flat seven. Alright, so when we are playing in A, we're just going to play A, C, D, E, G, and back to A. That's a five basic note. And it will repeat and repeat and repeat. So A, C, D, E, G, A, C, D, E, G, A, and then we can end off with a C. So that's, that's the, uh, basically the most <coughs> common uh, pattern that everyone goes to, actually, like... This pattern, right? Yes, correct. Um, I think the first time I, when I was learning guitar or learning scale, this mm. was the this is the first, first shape, shape or first pattern that yeah. I, I learned. Correct. And then also once we complete the first pattern, and then we can try out different patterns. So uh, there will be five different shapes in a pentatonic. So we're gonna just uh, we're gonna put it in general usage of uh, how we're gonna use it. So uh, yes, <coughs> win. Yep. So I mean. You are the rocker guy and stuff. All right. Um, show us some leaks that you, you normally use. All right. So the first leak that we're going to do is actually without anything, without any techniques, it's just a shape with a box. Yep. So it's just going to be something like that. It's just so a very basically good just doing. Um, Back to back the, to back to the, the tonic? Yeah. Okay. So, with uh, more ideas, you can add in like bending. So, the first note I'm going to bend. So, basically, when you bend, right? Yep. You you bend to the next note of the pentatonic scale. Yeah, right? to the next note. So, this is going to be your D note. So then, you're going to gonna full bend to the E. So, so, from the fourth, you bend to the fifth. Yes. Okay. Right, and then we're just going to add that as flavor, so we're going to do Spicy. Just one, yeah this spicy flavor Correct Spicy? Spicy, spicy Spicy And add some vibratos to it So I think uh, most of the like back then, what, what's the band? What's the band called? Let's zap or anything like that, right? Our yeah Our man is laughing but it's fine <laughs> <laughs> So like let's zap kind of like those um, common licks. Yes, correct. <coughs> nice. Oh, thanks. So the other one is actually you can just bend another note. Ah, so this one goes to this is uh, the fifth, right? The G or the seven or the flat seven. <laughs> flat seven. Flat seven. And then back to again the. Back the to tonic. the tonic. Yep. So, yeah. Again, we go to the tonic note. That note. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> right, back to the tonic. All right, everybody. So the whole thing, you just gonna spice it up. Did I mention yeah. that we are in A minor pentatonic scale? Yeah, we are in A minor pentatonic. A minor. <coughs> All right. So what are the licks? I mean, basically this is just a box. Right? Yes. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. what are the things that you think we can do with those notes on pentatonic okay. scale? Okay, uh, first off, that's how it's bending. Yep. You can also do slides. Slides. Nice. Yeah. Spicy. Spicy. So my favorite to start off with pen uh, every pentatonic is to bend this note here. So can I can can we just put that emotion? I'll play just some uh, like 
the jamming track or, or the jamming okay, sure. uh, chords that we, the progression <coughs> that we did just now. So, alright, so right. one, two, two three, three, four. So, this is where I would just. I can help it when I bend. I have to do. Oh man, that <laughs> <laughs> that is the that bending phase. Bending phase. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So basically, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's that's a good idea. So you you are actually feeling the feeling, notes, feeling yeah, notes, feeling the bend. Feeling Without the, bend. the the phase, right? The bend, which is there's no emotion. Mm. You need but when you emotion. have to, this bit, right? Ladies and gentlemen, the face. Yeah, the face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay so let, let, let's try to do one bending face. With the face. Yeah. Uh, my face. Okay. With my face. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Is that okay? That's okay. more than okay. So uh, I think I I should add this uh just a little bit of this um the blue notes that everybody play blues and you got the, the flat five. This is a flat five here. Called the wrong notes, but uh, that's the blue notes. Right? Alright, so the flat five, yeah, the flat five. Thing. Right, okay. So it seems right. right. Alright. See, I get it. Yeah, that's right. Alright. So nice. I think if we do that half half bend, that so-called wrong note to the right note, which is the flat five to the mm -hmm. fifth, like a half bend, we can get to that. All right, fifth note. I mean the, the five. That All blues right. kind blues. of thing. Or we can get from here half step, then back to the. I mean, goes to the full. All right. Can you try that? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, of course, of course. So basically, this flat five is like a wrong note, uh, but it's not. It's still in the blues uh, tonality. Shall we play something here? So I will, I will try to emphasize this, or like maybe a, like a wrong note. Let's say you wanna improvise. Or mm -hmm. Let's say I do not know the song well, right. but I know the key. Let's say in uh, A minor, right? Um, I tend to use shapes within those patterns, right? The, those patterns right, that I'm using. Right. Let's say let, let's just stick to this, right? This pentatonic mm -hmm. pattern here. So <coughs> what I will do is I just. I'm not thinking, this could be a chord. Alright. This could be a chord, but I'm not thinking of that at all. So let's say, let just play all progression, right. so I can just show it to them how it's going. Yeah, so out from the shape, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, 
it's just that basic shape or basic patterns, right? That mm -hmm. I'm using. I'm just taking parts, bits and parts of those. Um, basically, they are still in the, in the patterns. So um, I can do like. Yeah, I mean, like I you're mean, doing double that stops, kind of double yeah. stops, right? Yeah. But what I'm using is, let's say I'm taking these three strings. Uh -huh. um, I'm just adding that. So I'm playing. Right. Some ridiculous, not really ridiculous, just <laughs> like you can add those kind of stuff. Like, all right, so I think you can color the um, see when someone played that progression, right? You can just mm. maybe play. From the pentatonic? Yes, pentatonic scale. So okay. I think back then those people like uh, Jimi Hendrix, I mean he's using all those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically you move it through the pentatonic. Alright. Uh, it's just from the pattern itself. So you can yeah. choose any any notes from the pentatonic. Yeah. So I, I can do something like maybe I mean again this could be mm. a chord. This okay. could be a, some other chord, but I'm not thinking in chords, I'm thinking about those patterns there. So basically, I can do this. Okay. Yeah, it's like, oh, I can do this. I mean, this is a chord, yeah. but I'm not thinking of that. Yeah. This, this. Or I can take the three strings. I can join with other patterns. I can get this. This is like the the pattern before the one that we did. Alright. Can I try a bit? Yeah. But I don't know whether it's gonna sound yeah, nice. It's fine. <laughs> Let me try. One, All right. Two, three, four. Okay, let's say when I play C, right? Alright. When you play C major scale, so I will be playing this. I mean, I got all the, the yeah, chord tones of C major yeah. scale, right? I mean, the only one that, the only two that I do not have is uh, the A mm -hmm. and the D. Okay. The D. The D, alright. Okay, so basically the D is the ninth of um, a C, major, C major chord. And I got an A, so it's just a six. So it gives like that, that kind of like a dreamy kind of like. So when you play C, right? So I'd be playing. All right. So nice. basically, if we strum together, right? One. We have this. We have the C six nine. Six nine. C six yeah, nine. C six nine. Right. Or C six. If I add a ninth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so, uh, pretty much, um, we covered the basic of the mm, scales, yeah. and of course there are other patterns, but this, this is basically the go-to pattern where you add a flat fifth to get a blues. So the technique is made for bending yeah. and so on. Correct. I mean, scales are just scales. Mm -hmm. Yep. They are just a bunch of notes. Right. You know, um, the one that creates the technique. You, you create techniques of bending, sliding. Yeah, sliding yep. it's, it's, it's just a book. You tell the story. How you want to tell the story is up to you. Yeah, correct. So another one is actually, I asked my students, most of my students yep. to do skipping. 
So example, sixth string, and then skip to the fourth string, then move up to the fifth string, then move up, uh, skip again, then move up. It's more like yeah. string skipping, just skipping. Mm. Yes, correct. That kind of, uh, it's kind of nice because you can add to. And then I use flavor. I use this to create my own band song. <laughs> really? Oh, win as a band. Oh yeah. What band? Uh, Dinova. So my starting of the song is is we are in yeah. the process of recording. We yeah. do it in E. So my song is gonna be. Oh, solo, hold on. Oh, yeah. Ah. That's the intro of the song. So I'm using that basic skill just to create my own song. Okay. Yeah. See that? Can use those techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, again, these are all basic techniques. We are That's not correct. going to do some advanced stuff or anything like that correct. because basically, pentatonic scale can cover a lot of genres. Correct. Uh, from pop, uh, jazz, blues, even metal. Also. Metal. Yeah. Um, Asha, can you shred on pentatonic scale? <laughs> <laughs> he show me peace. All right. The inverted one. So. <laughs> Yes, again, uh, I'm Adnan from All Music Access or AMX and we have Win from Stringers Music Solutions. See you next time. Bye.